Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com, your online resource for everything from Photoshop video, tips and tricks, to camera articles with thoughts, concepts, and ideas relating to photography. Thanks for tuning in, and now for today's video podcast tip. Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create an action that will resize your images for you down from their default image raw out of the SLR camera to a more manageable size for web and screen displays. I've got a, an image here of an eagle that I've resized in the past that I know will work well and I'll show you how to do it. I've gone ahead and created a group for resizing in my actions palette here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some simple math I did because, let me pull this in here, and show you my image size. There's my image size, and let me grab the other one. So now you can see my default image size out of the camera is 3456 by 2304. So I'm subtracting 10% each time, time decrementing all the way down to 600 pixels. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use these formulas so I can enter them quickly, and it's a pretty easy way to create an action that will do that for you on the fly so you can actually back process even all this stuff if you want to down to whatever output dimensions you want so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this and I'm gonna start recording a new action and I'll do that inside of the resizing mode and I'm gonna call this downsize to 600 pixels and I'll know what that means and then I'll go ahead and click on record to start recording the action so now I'm recording everything I'm just gonna to go to image image size, I'm going to adjust it down to the next level down which happens to be 3111 and that's going to downsize it by about 10 percent. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat that from 3111 3, down to 2800 and you can get the gist as I keep going down through the routine here and at this, at this point it's pretty rudimentary it's just simple math doing your downsizing. There's going to be a bunch of image sizing coming up down here in your actions palette that's normal, that's what you want to see. If you don't see that, it means you're doing something wrong. I'm going to take this down to 2268, which is the next decrement down. And I'm going to do this one couple more times down to 2042. And the next size down is 1838. And the next size down is 1655. And so on and so forth. You should get the idea. But I'm going to take this all the way through so you can see it to completion and what I mean by about the quality of the sharpness that you get when you do it slowly like this. Because when you do it a little bit at a time, the resulting quality in your image is going to be that much higher because you're not trying to do everything all at once. The next size down from 1341 is 1207. The next size down from that is 1087. You're going to recognize that as being very close to the 1024 size for a, a standard 19 inch screen. You want to take it down one more time. If you're downsizing to a 19 inch screen, you're going to want to take it down one more time past this. You could probably fudge it a little bit down to 1024. I always like to do more rather than less sharpening though in the 10% increment because the quality just remains that much higher. 979, I'll take this down to the 10% lower than that. And the next size down from 979 is 882. And at this point, it's actually going to be less than 10% to get us down to the 800 level. So I just take it straight to 800 because that's a standard image size to, re to uh, set your sizing to. The next size below that will be 720. And then two more will go down to 648. And then finally to 600. And you'll see what I mean in just a second here. So now that you've done your last image resize, it doesn't look so hot right now, but let's go ahead and finish recording this action by clicking stop which is over here on the left and you can see how many times you've done this image sizing I'll go ahead and pull that back up and then when we scroll in on this image and bring it full size and I'm looking up here at my percentage getting it to 100 percent you're gonna see that that looks pretty good even past 100 percent we could take it even further and you might start seeing a little pixelization pass and we're seeing about 130 there's 143 percent you can see a little more this is going to be a lot less than if you did it in one quick resizing motion all the way down to 600 pixels from 3456. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that set and I'm going to go ahead and close this image. And 
I'm not going to save the changes and I'll pull up another image so you can see the effect that that has on it. And here we are with another image on inside here that I'm going to go ahead and push to the full size and I'm just going to go ahead and push this down to the 800 pixels and you'll see how quickly this will automatically take your image down. You can see it going down to 10% increments until it hits the 800 pixel level. And again, it doesn't look like much right now, but you can actually can script this to pop back up to 100% when you're done. I'm not going to do that here for the sake of time. I want to scroll this up to 100%. You're going to see that this still has pretty good quality. There's this eagle at 110%, still very good quality, 121. And you can see it start to pixelate a little bit at 133. So this 10% increments or decrements when you go to resize images is always a good thing. You want to do a little bit at a time and that way you'll maintain sharpness throughout your image. Uh, that's it for today. If anyone has any suggestions for future tips or tricks, feel, feel free to email me. The address as always is jason at canonblogger.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.